Welcome, everyone, to the ultimate game in the college football season. Everything has built to this, the battle for the national championship and college football immortality, a moment that every young football player grows up dreaming about. And these two teams have survived the expanded playoff grind. They have battled through a regular season, multiple playoff victories, all sorts of challenges and adversity, and they've arrived at this moment to battle for that precious trophy. As we're going to see, a squad here today looking to put on a show. Taking on a group that has a lot to prove here today. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreet. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Here we go with the kickoff. This is it, the ultimate game in college football. National championship at stake. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the offense out for their first possession of the game. And there comes the star running back onto the field. He is a special talent. You talk to opponents, he's always the focal point when they face this offense. Boy, Chris, this guy is special. It's almost like he floats across the field. I mean, I don't think anyone can take him down in the open field. He's the guy that teams try to key on, but sometimes it feels as though no one can contain him. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And it'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. Boy, great job by this defense on this second down run. Just stonewalled them at the line of scrimmage. Now they get a chance to really pressure the quarterback here, try to get off the field. There's a challenging third and eight now in this opening possession. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. Caught over the middle, it's Singleton. They get him down, but the game moves the ball up to the 36. That's exactly what you want to see here for this offense. A big third down conversion. Offensive line did their job, giving a quarterback enough time. Great read, good execution, throws the ball accurately. Now you got some momentum going here on this opening drive. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. The veteran quarterback, lucky that didn't result in a takeaway. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Handing off on the draw play. Solid game, moves the ball to a 43. The draw is a good way to keep the defensive line in check and use their aggressiveness against them. It can be real effective, even in passing situations, if you mix it in correctly. So now it's third and short from the 43. Can they keep the drive going or perhaps face a tough fourth down decision? And they'll run it with the draw play. And the play goes nowhere. Picked up about a yard, but it'll be fourth down. And the punt team makes its way onto the field. And the return man decides to signal fair catch. And here comes one of the elite running backs in all of college football. When he gets the ball in his hands, it's just hold your breath time, Kirk. He's been electrifying. He sure is. The embodiment of a superstar. The bona fide runner with ill intentions for the defense. This offense leans on him, and there aren't very many times that he doesn't come through for it. An inside give now from the shotgun. Oh, what a juke. Gets three now. It's a solid game. Moves the ball out to the 28. Chris, what I love here is just the vision by the running back. Showing great patience. The hole opens up, and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards. First down here for this offense. Oh. 
Handoff here from the shotgun. As the first down still on the move. We bring him down, but he makes the 40-yard line. That's a solid game. Every now and then, we see a really good run. We tend to focus on what other people did in order for that run to happen, what the offensive line did. Maybe the receivers are blocking good on the edge. Sometimes the running back is pretty good, too. And on that play, he picked up a lot of yards and made that happen with good effort. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards and sets up a nice second and two. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense take. Are they going to run? Maybe play action? Maybe throw a hole down the field? They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. And the game just good enough for a first down. Good job of reading the blitz here by the quarterback. And it doesn't matter where it's coming from. The tight end knows that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an outlet. Anytime you see that kind of pressure, those extra bodies are starting to come after the quarterback. Quarterback's going to turn and get the ball out of his hands quickly, this time to the tight end for the first down. It's a two-yard game, second and eight coming up. With the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that previous play. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And a decent gain there before the defense brings it down. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. Coming up the first snap in the red zone on this drive. First down, looking to throw the ball. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And it's picked off in the end zone. When you get this close to the end zone, you've got to be able to come away with points, at the very least, a field goal. They've got to be scratching their heads and hoping that in the second half, this play right here doesn't come back to bite them. And here comes the offense back out onto the field now. Now begin with a quick throw to the left. Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. This is what makes the RPO so difficult to defend if you have a quarterback who can read it. It's that old argument, which guy has the chalk last? Or with a quarterback that can read it like that, the quarterback has the chalk last. He reads that they're up, makes the throw in the quick slant, gets some really good yards. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Caught near the sideline. It's Smith. And he'll head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. Good catch just past the first down line to allow the drive to continue. It's a nice play by the quarterback and wide receiver there. Offense will set up on first and ten. The back's got it on the counter. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Hey, it's a great job in this defense containing the running game. If I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll run it here. He shreds the tackle. As the first down is still going. Look at that powerful running. Four set of bounds after a big game. This offense set up for the first down. 
Well, the big fellow is Kirk flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge game. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back, just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right. And then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big gain in the first down. They call the counter play here. Defense makes the tackle with the clock running. That'll probably be the final play of this first quarter. Getting set for the second quarter here, both offenses are searching for a spark. They didn't do much in the first quarter at all. Getting set here now for the second period, both offenses looking for some efficiency for a spark into that opening. And now they run the draw play. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Now the back just had no chance there. The defense is all over the draw play to stop him behind the line. Yeah, I don't know if they were tipped off or what, but they weren't fooled at all. You could tell the defense was dialed in, knew exactly what was coming, and made the tackle. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. He's moving out of the pocket. Right now to the 22 to first down. Very near the red zone now. Boy, this guy can do it all. We know what he can do with his arm, but when things aren't there, does a good job of pulling it down, knowing where the first down marker is, picking up the first down. Offense in hurry-up mode. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Great move there. Tackle is made at the eight-yard line. It'll be first and goal right there. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of them. The offense sets up with a first and goal. Looking to pass this time. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Everything about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. Coming up, second down and goal. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. And the pass is complete to the tight end. Tackle down at the three after the catch. Defense up against it now. Chris, I know they got some positive yards here. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with this defense and the way they're flying to the football. They realize, hey, this is the national championship. They gotta try to buck up here down by their own goal line and come up with a big play now on third down. Third and goal, looking to throw for it. Pass caught, can he get in? Can you say methodical? A marathon march Kirk just pounding away and wearing down that defense. They just kept moving the sticks and moving the sticks until they got into the red zone, and they just kept moving the sticks until they got into the end zone. What a drive. They'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good. They jump in front, 7 nothing. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. And here's the handoff. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Second down after that run on the previous play. 
From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Tackled at the 32, that's enough for a first down. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. Fresh set of downs, it's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And he's got it already past the first down marker. Bulldozing his way past tacklers. And a huge game before he's forced out of bounds. The big yardage to set up a fresh set of downs. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. It's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Delivers quickly to the left side. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. He's brought down at the six. The offense will have first and goal right there. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air. Man, puts a lot of pressure on this defense. So two big plays in a row. The defense is reeling here. Now it's first and goal. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. The quarterback hands this off and there's nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call. And they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the seven. And off inside, looking for the touchdown. Boy, as a defensive coordinator, you've got to be careful being so worried about this pass game and this quarterback that you're a little bit soft up front, and it costs you. That's exactly what happened here as they score this touchdown. Here comes the point after attempt. And there's the point after. There's a kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Fields it just outside the goal line. And the return will be brought down. Here's the first play of the drive now, backed up at the 15. Going with the old counter run here. Going to try to run inside, but nowhere to go. It was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. Here's the second down play. There's the snap, looking to throw the ball. It's a quick grab. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. A couple things that really stood out to me here, Chris, on this nice play by the corner. Awareness to be able to see the wide receiver screen, and then the willingness to get involved and run support and make the tackle. Great play. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? The pocket breaking down. Sacked, it's a loss, back to the six. Interesting call here by the defense in their dime set with six defensive backs. Instead of manning up and applying pressure on the receivers, they sit back, make it tougher on the quarterback, make him have to read their zone coverage. He gets confused and allows the defensive line to get to the quarterback. And the punt team now on to kick it away. Just able to get it away. Oh, and he's got a crease here. Look out. Returner tackle right there. That's when we'll start the drive. 
First down here. Time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. Snags a good throw. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. And that's the two-minute warning now here in the first half. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Getting set. Here's second down. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. That one falls incomplete looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. Off the incompletion, it sets up a third down and two. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And he's got his man open downfield. Just get the ball into the hands of your guy and let him do the rest of the heavy lifting with the yards after the catch. What a great catch and score. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT puts him in front by seven. The kickoff team on the field now is it's set to send this one away. And the kickoff will be returned. And the returns are brought down by the coverage team there. So here we go. First play of the drive, under two minutes before halftime. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Grab down the middle. It's Campbell. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Defenses all around the country have got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. They'll have to hurry now. Second down with the clock ticking. Offense looking to throw the ball. Makes a quick grab. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. You call a quick out on third down. I think that tells you the confidence you have in a quarterback to be able to make that throw. And on top of that, little surprise the defense would give that kind of cushion to be able to give him room to pick up that first down. So it's a first down here. The clock has stopped temporarily, but they'll get to the line quickly. Here's the snap, looking to throw. He's got it on a crossing route. Brought down, a broken tackle to produce a solid gain there. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. Second down play coming up. And he drops back in the gun. Caught quickly. Gets past the tackler into open space now. The offense will quickly spend the timeout here after the play. The key on the third down between the quarterback and the wide receiver is the timer. That quarterback knows that he's got to get the ball out quickly and on time to give his receiver a chance to not just make the catch and stay in bounds. And it's intercepted! Not much on the return, but the pick will set up the offense at the 35. Well, the quarterback ends up being a tad aggressive, and he ends up paying for it with a pick. I get that that might be part of his playing style, but there's a difference between being aggressive and being careless. So they'll start this drive here with less than a minute remaining on the first half clock. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Receiver makes the grab, refusing to be brought down before gaining first-down yardage. The offense will take their first ten out of the half to talk strategy here. 
That's another positive game here for this offense, and this defensive coordinator is going to have to make some kind of adjustments to get this quarterback out of his rhythm. It's the national championship, man. You've got to take chances and mix up your coverages because right now what you're doing just isn't working. And it's incomplete. He dropped the first down pass over the middle. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. So, second down after the incompletion. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Running back has it on a screen now. That heads out of bounds after a decent game. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Upcoming after that completion. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Booker. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. The offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Fresh set of downs. First and goal. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. So it's still early, but this offense beginning to build momentum and build the lead now. As we've seen over the years, Chris, good teams know how to use the first quarter to establish the lead, the second quarter to increase the lead, and the final half just to hold on to it. They're following that blueprint perfectly, widening the distance between them and their opponent before we even get to the locker rooms. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. And the back gets the football. The junior able to bring him down quickly. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Chris, thanks. What else might we expect in a game of this magnitude? Everything on the line. The eyes of the sports world on this battle with the coveted gold trophy at stake. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to Chris and Kirk. Fellas, hard to believe we're only one half away from crowning a national champion. He's going to bring it out from the end zone. Coverage team brings down the returner. Here's the first play of the drive now. They're backed up at their own 14. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. Chris, that's another good run for him. He's had such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Now it's second down here. And the single back takes the handoff. And he will make the first down, tackled at the 26. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line. But give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? Quick throw, the catch is made. Chris, that's a great example of his arm strength. He just fired the ball in there much quicker than the defense could even react.
second down after that run on the previous play. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. And they'll stop him short with the line to gain. They pick up the first on the ground. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Boy, just a blown opportunity here by this defense. They got them to third down, a chance to potentially get them off the field. And the fact that they're trailing, they needed to make a play. You've got to give credit to this offense. In the national championship, that big offensive line opened up a hole, and they pick up the first down and keep working clock. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And he stopped after gaining four yards, so second and six. But this defense is going to have to mix up some looks because this back has had a monster day in the national championship. Running inside, running outside, the defense has got to do a good job of locking in on him to negate his big playability. Offense getting set, second down play here. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And he's brought down out at the 46. Another positive gain by this back. I'm telling you, between the offensive line sustaining blocks and this back's vision and ability to explode into that second level of this defense, this guy is having a monster day in the biggest stage of all in the national championship. Crucial third down play right here. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Receiver makes the catch. Brought down at the 46, good enough for a first down. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. First down and 10 now. Ball handed off. They get him down, but that's a solid game. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Off the play fake. Looking to throw the football. Makes a quick catch. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. Made the catch, but he was surrounded, Kirk. Not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. There's the handoff. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. continues offense pushing the ball down the field a quick throw out left complete defense surrounds it just a short gain on that completion boy this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems he has another catch on the day you may want to adjust out get out of your base maybe try it five or six defensive backs on the field somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver on third down, he drops to throw. He'll try a pass here. And he's got his man. Caught wide open in stride. And they've got him at the four, but a big gain of that catch and run. For this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. So another third down conversion. Now they're set up at first and goal. Tight end goes in motion before the snap. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football. And now it's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment. But here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact. And as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Offense facing second and goal.
There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. Under pressure, just lets it go. Just gets the pass away, but took a shot that time. And I talk to defensive coordinators all over the country, and they're quick to point out the term affecting the quarterback. They, they, they kind of almost get offended when you want to talk to him about sacks. Sometimes it's just about getting into his face, affecting his vision. It's exactly what they did right here. Looking to throw on third and goal. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Coach elects to try for three points and sends out the field goal unit. So from the left hash, this is just a chip shot. And it's good right down the middle. And they add to their lead. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. Set for the kickoff here after adding to this big lead. And it's fielded. Can the returner make something happen here? Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. Offense back out there trying to get something going. First down. Looking to throw the football. It's a quick grab. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. you take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. That completion makes it second and medium. They'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Solid game there. Moves the ball up to the 32. All right, Chris, let's face it. Most of the offensive linemen today, they're big. You know, they weigh over 300 pounds. But that doesn't mean they don't have to have agility. And the way they can get out there in front of the runner, create space, sometimes it looks like they're going in one direction. And a runner uses his eyes to take him in another direction because he's been blocked so well. Love those misdirectional counterplays. And this one worked out really well for a nice piece of yards in the first down. Talking about quickness, that play is absolutely blown up in no time. Chris, I don't know if that's a misassignment by the offensive lineman or just really good instincts there by the defender, but that play is blown up right at the snap. Offense getting set. It's second down. Handoff from the shotgun. Fights through a tackle. Defense able to bring him down to wrap up the third quarter of play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. Looking for the wideout. This is the receiver incomplete. I really thought that this matchup between this quarterback and his receivers going up against this defense in the national title would have been must-see TV. But man, this defense, they have won that battle the entire game, and they enjoy a nice lead because of that. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. This will fall incomplete and a turnover on downs. And it's a punch formation. Chris, I totally understand why they would go for this here at this point in the game. You're down by three scores. We're in the second half. They felt the pressure with the possession that they had, the field position that they had. They needed to make something happen. Unfortunately, not able to come through. Second down after that run of the previous play. And he'll set up to throw. Finds his man. It's Booker. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. A lot of times when a quarterback sees man defense, he wants to get the ball out of his hands as quickly as possible. Put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle or two on the outside and get a big play. 
So here we go now, third and short from the opponent's 24-yard line. What will the offense choose to do at this point? On the run here, lets it go. Quick throw complete to the tight end. The defense all over it. They stop him right at the line. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. Fourth down and two coming up as they try to keep the drive going. Little eye candy here from the offense. Some pre-snap motion. Fourth down, RPO looking left. Now he did not make the first down yarder. Gets a big stop for this defense as they try to cut into this lead. Chris, what a great job here by this defense on this fourth down play. They knew exactly where to come up with that stop to get the turnover on downs, and they did it. lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Caught over the middle, it's Smith. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Chris, it's not always the big, tall receiver that gives these defenses headaches on slant routes. Sometimes it can be that undersized guy from the slot that's very tough to get your hands on. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. The short completion of the tight end. Right down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. Boy, the defense missed an opportunity to here. Put a lot of pressure on this offense. They allow them to convert. They could have got them the fourth down with the lead that they have. Boy, this could have been a knockout punch. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Looking to throw again. Grab down the middle. It's Campbell. Well, we just continue to see this defense make great plays, especially with their tackling. And the awareness to understand we're in the fourth quarter, you're trying to keep this offense inbounds so they keep that clock moving. That completion makes it second and medium. And the quarterback dropping back. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. They got to get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. After the incompletion, they'll line up now for a third and five. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. And this pass is on target, caught. And the play is good enough for a first down. They'll move the ball to the 44. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. On first and ten, look at a throw. Caught in the backfield. It's Singleton. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. Pass complete. It's second down now. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. They make the tackle, but that's an excellent game. Moves the ball to the 33. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw and put it on target. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Got him. He's sacked. Between the defensive scheme and the athletic ability of this front and the linebackers getting pressure as well, the way they've been able to harass this quarterback has a lot to do with why they're enjoying such a big lead in the national title. The offensive line will have to regroup after the sack. It's second and 13. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. He's escaping the pocket now. 
Going to try to use his legs here. Slides down to avoid the tackle. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Quarterback escapes the pocket. Slides to avoid the big hit. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. the shotgun drops back looking for an open man to the end zone but incomplete an important third down conversion coming here in the red zone gonna pick up the third and short through the air looking to scramble that gets down to avoid the big hit. Oh, so disappointing for this defense. They had the advantage. Good coverage all over the field. It's third down, but they let the quarterback get away, scramble, and pick up the first down. And now it's first and goal inside the five-yard line. Here we go. First and goal. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. Quarterback drops back. He's got it right near the end zone. The defense makes the stop at the three. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. Look at a pass here on second down. They trap him and sack him back at the 10. Well, here we are in the national championship, and you always talk about offense, and it is. It's become an offensive game, but how fitting to see this defense. This team has a nice lead, and a large portion of that has to do with the way they've been able to get after this quarterback. That's the second sack in this game. Third and goal. Looking to throw the ball. Almost intercepted in the end zone. An opportunity missed. But it does bring up a fourth down here. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Chris, this is a great play by the receiver coming up with this touchdown. But let's go back to the beginning of this play. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He got the ball out of his hands quickly to get that receiver the football to give him a chance to put the touchdown on the board. See if they can convert the point after. BHC is good. They still trail, though. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the hands seem able to make the crucial recovery. Offense makes their way on the field. Hand off to the back. Just a small gain looking at second and nine. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Second down after that run on the previous play.
Ball handed to the running back. Refusing to be brought down. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. You know, the thing that's really stood out today for this offense has been the balance. You know, they've gotten some yardage on the running back. He's done his job. The offensive line is protected and given the quarterback a chance to be able to throw the football. He's been able to throw the football into the end zone. Now they're just looking to put on the finishing touches to win the game. And that'll do it. We have a national champion.